So you're driving along and the little ABS warning light flashes up on the dashboard. Should you stop driving? What does that warning mean? What should you do? Can you continue to drive your car while that ABS warning light is illuminated? So this video, we're just gonna answer a few of the common questions that crop up around that particular warning light. <laughs> So the ABS system in your car prevents the wheels from locking up. It basically monitors the speed of each of the wheels. If during heavy braking, one of the wheels rotation is starting to slow up relative to the other wheels, then the brake will back off on that particular wheel to enable it to keep rolling. So if the ABS system itself has detected some kind of issue with that warning system, it's maybe getting wrong readings or readings that are just beyond the normally expected parameters, the ABS warning light will flash up. So what that's indicating to you is that the ABS system is no longer working on your car. The brakes will still function, but you'll no longer have the protection of that anti-lock system cutting in. So should you drive your car? Well, safety is obviously restricted now because you've not got the ABS and ABS is a lifesaver. It's important. That's why manufacturers fit it to all modern cars. But you can still drive without the ABS system working. Whether it's legal or not to do so depends very much on where you live and what your particular road traffic laws actually state. And the insurance companies may well start to quibble if you have a claim and you've neglected to get your ABS system them sorted and that was a contributing factor to the accident but a lot of cases they will actually look at the circumstances have you failed to heed that warning light if it's been flashed up on your dashboard for months and you've had an accident then you are clearly negligent if it's just happened you've just had that warning light flash up and then an accident happened and you've not had time to go to a garage and get it addressed then you've certainly got a defense in most countries in most legal systems so the ABS warning light is an important system if the warning light is up, you should certainly get that investigated, take the car into a garage. If you've got a diagnostic code reader, you can plug that in and it will generally, in most cases, give you a bit more information on what the problem is or where the issue is in the braking system. That can make diagnosing it a lot easier because the ABS system itself is very complex. There's lots of components involved. And if any one of those fail, you will just get a warning light. The fault code reader will enable you to drill down exactly to the malfunctioning system and you'll be able to get that addressed quickly and sorted. So I hope this video has been useful to you. It's answered the question on what the ABS light coming on actually means and whether you should continue to drive your car. Please let me have your feedback below. Let me know how you've got on with this problem. If you've had a fault with your ABS system, I'd be very curious to know what the actual cause of the fault was. Um, because that helps other people to diagnose it and often certain faults are specific to certain models of car. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video and please boot that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so because we would love you to stay tuned.